Attention, as you may know, our community guidelines describes which content we allow and do not allow on YouTube. Your video, labeled Unlisted Videos and Playlists, don't appear in search, but anyone with a link can view them, was flagged for review. Upon review, no, it wasn't reviewed, it was your bot. You were flagging it. Someone ordered you to flag it. We've determined it violates our guidelines. That We've removed it from YouTube and assigned it a community guideline strike or temporary penalty to your account. The entire content of the description will be below in this video so it can get flagged immediately. Obviously someone desperately wants to make sure no one gets a copy of the playlists that list my videos. There is nothing in the video that can be used to flag it. Dear YouTube, I'm going to forward the video you're watching to you and ask you to break KFAB. That's a expression from pro wrestling. I want the person to review this to respond by, by including their first name, by stating which country and state they're in. And I want the YouTube person to take a little bit of responsibility and take a little bit of initiative and explain to me how a video explaining how to make unlisted videos add to a playlist and make the playlist unlisted so that we can exchange information without YouTube needing to flag it because it doesn't violate community guidelines because uh, the videos aren't visible to the community. How did this video violate your community guidelines? I want an explicit response. I don't want the video reloaded. I don't want you to restore my channel. I want you to actually include the following which again means you have to break ranks and violate YouTube and, and, and Google policy. I want you to include the entire text of the original complaint and show some transparency. I'm going to be putting in this description for this video the same information. It took less than 24 hours for you to do this to me. I want to know who flagged the video. Whether it was Google, the Google bot, or some corporate entity that has been paid a lot of money to do this. The rest of this you can all read. Now I'm going to say this one more damn time to Google and to YouTube. You did this, or your team of nine, over 9,000 uh, underpaid Californian uh, monkeys did this, or you hired this out to a company that has some of their workers getting paid money to shoot down accounts. This happened a couple of years ago. A group of your workers began selling their services to the highest bidder on the dark web. A lot of us know about that. A lot of law firms employ this. All you have to do is forward the complaint to me so I can put it on the screen as well. There isn't any complaint here. The complaint is a video explaining literally a technical subject about how to use YouTube more efficiently by uploading your videos as unlisted, by adding them to a playlist that is also unlisted, and letting them sit for a while so we can have an archive of our stuff so we don't offend anybody, so you have no reason to flag our channels. That became evidence for flagging my channel. I want an actual explicit response. Your company is either A, actively just screwing with people over and over again as a focused behavior, as a specific harassment behavior. This, by definition, isn't legal. I mean, I'm not kidding. Um, Oh, well, maybe you're doing this for political reasons. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm a liberal. I'm a Democrat. But let's try this. Okay. <coughs> no one can make a cake without legally uh, not violating rules. You know that cake place? Yeah. Um, you're a corporation and you can be legally compelled to do all sorts of things. And it'll apply to the large corporation. Remember that. Just saying. Okay, number one. Number two. Refusing to give me a copy of the original complaint means I can't figure out who made it. Well, that's fine. But refusing to include it means that I can't do what I did a long time ago on our original channel. Just It was just named WAPTEC, where I put up the original complaint because you included it. And it literally had random characters typed in. You didn't read a complaint. There wasn't one. And when I rubbed your company's nose in it, and it actually it didn't go viral, people just noted it. Your company was small enough at the time that you acknowledged that it was a fake flagging. A false flagging. My channel wasn't flagged legitimately because the video, again, it was how to uh, upload videos defaulted to unlisted, how to set playlists to unlisted, how to make a playlist of your videos and share them, not making them private so that anybody could hand the link out and we could actually watch our videos if we wanted to.
this would not interfere with community guidelines because it wouldn't interfere with the community. It wouldn't get a ranking. It doesn't add anything to the channel. Why are you permitting over and over again channels to be given one strike and you're out flaggings? I know after this point, after I upload this video, this channel will be erased. So I have no reason to be nice to you. I'm going to grab the playlist, copy it to a brand new channel I'm going to build, and put it there. Now here again, this is the demand. It's not a request. Google will forever be a target for everybody on this planet that wants to push Google out of business. I'm not kidding. Your company needs to be destroyed in front of all the other large corporations that have our data. This is, this is a line in the sand. I'm sorry. You're literally making it to where it is in no one's best interest to hold back. Your company either has a bunch of moles that got hired in, or you're letting large corporations dictate rules, or you're giving them special flagging privileges, which you have done in the past, or you have lawyers doing this. Now, I'm going to tell everybody a little bit of th fun. Uh, for the last couple of days, a couple of people, none of you remember the name of because they're, they think they're famous, but they're not. A couple of people who are used to be in the porn industry. Yeah, that's really what it was. have been contacting me over the last few days demanding I do something that I can't do because I don't have any power over it. Demanding I change something on some website somewhere. It doesn't matter how reasonable you are to them. They basically spam thousands of people with the same demand. Anyway, they claim that they're the ones doing this. Now, the other end of it, a certain, a certain salt Peter Couscous has claimed, online anyway, that he has caused this. I've even had people in YouTube channels claim that they're causing this. The video was flagged because it told people how to put videos up on your channel, on your website, excuse me, without making them visible so that nobody would have to be bothered by them, and make playlists that wouldn't bother anybody, so we could pass around our playlists so we could watch each other's videos without having to deal with you guys flagging everything so that we're not bothering you as a corporation. And this video got flagged. I'm going to get the information from the video, cut and paste it to the, uh, to the description below, and the only thing on the screen will be your complaint. Dear YouTube and Google, I'm sure, I'm, I'm absolutely sure at this point that there's some a uh, polycolored per hair dude person, a person with multiple hair colors, sitting in a chair somewhere that gets to review this because they're the ones who flagged it. You're not supposed to allow the review of a flagging to be done by the person who did the flagging. Now, I already know this is happening. I mean, this has got to be it, right? It couldn't be that you're literally taking money from the highest bidder. But anyway, I'm going to submit this video as the response. Dear YouTube bot, or SJW, please read this and watch this. No, it's not going to go viral. No one's going to copy this video to their channel and put it up. That will not happen. No one would ever do that. No one would ever make it impossible for you to swat this whack-a-mole down while I rub your nose in the fact, again, the video you flagged for violating community guidelines helped people avoid violating them. No, you didn't review it. Yes, it was flagged. And I demand, not ask. I am owed. I have a right to, a civil right to, if you want it to be pushed that far, to have a copy of the actual complaint, full text, with no redactions, telling me exactly what fooled the bot. You see, the other reason they don't tell you what it says is if somebody figures out what keywords to put into their complaint, they can flag anybody for any reason without any reason, and they will never, ever contradict it because it has certain keywords in it. Maybe it's um, a ticket, you know, like a like a ticket ID code, you know, uh, um, a tech support ticket code. Maybe uh, maybe it's that. Uh, maybe it's a special set of words, you know, some magic formula. What happened is someone didn't like their page ranking going down. Is that it? Come on, give give, give up. Tell us what's going on. Because when my channel's down, the only thing that shows up are people posting things about me that are demonstratively against your rule set you will not take down. I also received a complaint, I mean a response today from YouTube through my, uh, through my email saying they will not take down videos that are obviously violating your uh, community guidelines. They're the only videos that show up when you look up my channel. So since you're going to do this repetitive flagging BS... Well, my channel's still alive. I'm going to make a brand new channel that's unlisted and just have my playlists in it. And um, I'm going to download all my videos from everybody who's archived it. And I'm going to set up a channel that has them all unlisted and, and wait to see how long it takes you to flag invisible videos. Is that what we have to do now? Do we have to actually find out what is your real problem? 
Are you using the content ID system to permanently reflag people without telling them so you can harass them off the website? Again, your company had to apologize for, quote-unquote, uh, unfairly attacking conservatives. Okay, well, that's because they're part of a political movement. I'm not. I'm just some random person who points out when people uh, post fake stories, and then I debunk them. I'm one of the people debunking the fake stories, and you keep flagging my accounts. I want an explanation. I want an actual explanation, and it will be posted. Don't even think that I'm not going to... I will not hesitate for two seconds. I will post it, just like I'm doing this. The only way to get a corporation to knock shit off is to rub their nose in their own shit. Your company is dead-bang guilty of this. There is no quarter that should be allowed for you. This is prior restraint, almost. Anyway, dear YouTube bot, I'll tell you to go to this part of the video. The flagging is obviously inaccurate. I want the information on what caused the flagging. I don't want a response that says we've removed the flag. Next, if you're going to continue having this problem, block flagging of accounts until you fix it. Review all of them. You've, you've just hired over 9,000 people to do the work. Okay, well then, fix the problem. You, you don't think that this amounts to just harassment? I mean, this is literally harassment. The video you guys flagged was a video explaining how to make it to where YouTube has no reason to flag an account. And, you, and if you really do believe that that is somehow going around your ability to harass people, which is what it sounds like here, you've confirmed it. You know what? Screw it. I want everyone to post this to Twitter. The hell with it. Let's, let's just do this. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's multi-class here. Oh, and by the way, um, YouTube and Google, on my About page, there are the URLs from all my previous channels. Unerase them. Let's just go for broke. Give me all my channels back. Hey, give Logan Run and all of his channels back. That's 20 of them. Your company is notorious for allowing harassers to do this. You will not address this problem, and now that you're doing it yourself, you are legally liable. Does it really have to go to a court case? Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with this.